Hello everyone and welcome to my newest video on how to work with combinations in CIA Engineer. Today's video I will divide into uh, two parts where in the first part I will talk about the automatic combinations while in the second part I will show you how to create manual combinations. So for today's video, I already have applied a couple of load cases uh, with their values. And if you're interested uh, how to do it yourself, then please uh, do watch some of my old videos where I show you that step by step. Uh, here we have a list of all the load cases, uh, but also uh, the same list we can find it into loads, into load cases. The two most important things when you're working with the automatic combinations uh, is to assign the proper action type and also the proper uh, load type. So let's start with the first one. Uh, the first one is uh, the self-weight and uh, this is everything by default and I'm not going to change anything. So let's move to the second load case. Uh, the second load case is again an action type permanent load case uh, and the group uh, assigned is uh, G. Let's go to the three dots. Now in here we can we can see that we have a load group and there is nothing much uh, to assign for uh, the permanent load cases. So let's leave it like this and the, move to the next load case. So for the variable one I will have to change uh, the action type uh, to variable and uh, now uh, the load group I will go to the three dots uh, and for the name I will change it to Q. Let's move this window next to it so it's better uh, to show you. So now the relation uh, I will leave it to standard just because uh, in this load group I will uh, assign only one load case but in any case uh, there is an option uh, to work with standard exclusive or uh, together. So let's leave it to standard and uh, also the load type. Now if I uh, go to this drop down menu you can see that I have all the categories and also I have uh, to choose between snow, wind, temperature or construction loads. Uh, this is very important um, to assign uh, especially um, to show the software uh, which MC coefficients to take. So let's put it in here like category B offices and I will close this and let's move to the next load case. Now this is the snow, I will change the action type to variable and now the load group, I will create a new load group uh, where I will include all the snow load cases. So let's go to create new group and I will name it S now we have uh, two snow load cases uh, and uh, because both of them cannot happen at the same time then the relation between uh, these two I will uh, leave it to exclusive. So when the software will do the automatic uh, combinations it will, uh, it will not combine more than one uh, load case from this load group. Under load type uh, I will choose snow and I'm also finished with this part, so okay. For the next uh, snow load case, uh, under action type, I will choose the variable and now I will search for my uh, S load group and leave it like this. And something similar we will do for the temperature loads, so I will choose a variable action type. Under three dots, I will create a new load group. I will na name it T, short for temperature. And the relation, I will leave it as exclusive, but I will change the load type um, to temperature. Okay, and a last, I will change for the last load case to variable and I, and I will choose a T load group. So we are finished uh, setting all the load cases. Now let's go to the combinations. So I will close this menu. The combinations are located next to the load cases and the first one is usually is uh, the linear combinations. As you can see right now we have uh, two combinations 
uh, introduced to the system, uh, where the first one is uh, the ultimate limit state set B, and the second one are the characteristic uh, serviceability limit state combinations. Uh, but these two, be careful, these are not combinations, but actually are envelopes, or uh, maybe we can call them assets of uh, more than one combination. So we can, let's start with this one, the ultimate limit state, and I'm going to uh, explode it to envelopes just to see uh, what we have uh, into this combination. Uh, okay, now we have uh, eight extra combinations, but again, this is not combinations. Uh, this is actually, um, again, some envelopes where, or maybe like a group of more than one combination. So let's see what do we have in each group. So the first two groups are uh, the permanent load cases uh, where we have uh, favorable or unfavorable um, a type of uh, permanent loads. If I move to the third one, you can see that in here the safety coefficient for uh, the permanent load cases is 1.35, meaning that uh, they are uh, work, they're working in favorable direction. Uh, we have uh, the variable load uh, in being a leading load case, while the snow and the temperature are the trailing load cases, so you can see their coefficients. Uh, next, we have a similar situation where the variable is leading again, but uh, right now the permanent load cases are working as unfavorable. And then we have the snow uh, into a leading and these two will be trailing and uh, similar we have uh, for the temperature. But let's take one of the sets. Uh, let's see this one. And let's explode it to linear combinations, because like I said, uh, this is not uh, a combination, but this is still an envelope. So let's explode it. And now we have 18 combinations. Uh, so let's start with this one. In here, we have uh, the permanent load cases, then uh, the snow uh, as trailing, then we have again the snow, but the, the other load case, then we have the variable uh, and then we have the temperatures. And if you move uh, down, you can see that now there, there are combination of more than one of the variable load cases. And if I go more below, you can see uh, maybe in here. Yeah, we have uh, all, all of them with their coefficients and also the permanent with their uh, safety coefficient. What I can do now, I can go select everything and uh, delete the exploded uh, linear combinations. Uh, don't worry about it. I, if you delete them, you will still have them included in here. But now you can uh, see that uh, these two are impossible to delete, uh, which is a good feature uh, just because mm, you shouldn't do it by mistake if you are deleting something. Uh, below. Now, if you don't want to work with these two, uh, then I will close this. You should go to project settings and then under action, uh, you can uncheck the automatic combinations and uh, after unchecking them, then uh, they will either stay or you can, you will have the option uh, to delete them. So let's try that. Okay. Uh, and now the software is asking me what do I want to do with them, if I want to delete them or no. Let's say yes. And now if I go into combination, you can see that we don't have any combinations in the list. So this is mostly about the automatic combinations. Uh, let's take them back. I will go to project settings and activate the automatic ones. Okay. Uh, and now we have back. Uh, if you are, uh, in example, interested into how to change the psi coefficients uh, for uh, the load cases, then you can go into the annex. Uh, always make sure that you're working with the proper annex, taking it from the li list. And if you go to manage annexes uh, into this one, so we are working with basis of structural design. And under C factors, 
uh, on the three dots, you can see all the factors that are taken for each uh, load type. Um, by any chance, if you want to create new one, then you can modify probably the category age because right now it's all zeros and maybe that's a workaround. Interesting. Okay, so I will leave them like they are. And uh, now I have uh, all the automatic combinations. And if I run a calculation, uh, then uh, everything will be calculated with the automatic combinations. So we have some results. And you can see that we have already some translation uh, and uh, some results for the structure. Now, if you want to uh, do some manual calculation, uh, combinations, um, it doesn't matter if you have the automatic on or off, you can do it uh, with having them as well. So I will go again under combinations uh, and let's leave them like they are, but I will create some extra linear uh, combinations. So we will go to create a new element. And now we have uh, the option to choose uh, what type of combination will we will be creating. Now the first two are uh, obviously uh, envelopes, but these two envelopes are not according to the codes, uh, but will be according uh, to your preference, or you can do it manually. Then we have uh, the two linear, so these are the combinations that we are working, that we are, uh, that, uh, that we want to work with. And then we also have envelopes again, but these are according to the euro code. So we have uh, the three of the serviceability limit state. We have the seismic, the accidental, and, and the ultimate uh, limit state sets B and C. So let's create a linear combination, so no, not an envelope. Let's go to the linear and let's say that this one will be ultimate limit state. So I will click here. now. Uh, apparently all the content of the combinations by default it's, it's in here, so I will delete all. And now I can start uh, choosing which uh, load case I want to use and with which coefficient. Uh, let's say that I will insert in here 1.35 and I will add these two. And let's say I want to include one of the snow loads, so let's say this one with 1.5, okay. I can also name this combination, so let's say ULS01, uh, okay. And now we have created our uh, linear ultimate combination. If you by any chance want to make some differences, you can always go to edit, uh, but it's also a good thing that uh, you can uh, change uh, some of the safety coefficients in here. So let's say this one and this is going to be one. And uh, let's create another one. Uh, so this will be set ULS2. I will add the other snow and I will leave it like this. And I remembered that I got the safety coefficient wrong so I can go in here and correct it. So let's close this. And if we want to, uh, in example, work with just these uh, two of the combinations that I'm going to close this, and you can always uh, create a class where you can uh, do it yourself. So you can uh, group some of your uh, combinations into one class. So I will delete the existing ones and I will create a new one. Uh, so I will name it ULS manual. And I will select from the list. So I will work with this one and this one. Okay, and now I can work with uh, this class of combinations. Uh, and this is all that I've prepared for today's video. Uh, hope you like it and see you in my next video. Bye.